everyone, my name is Jordan and today I am starting a new project. So I've got, well, four videos up on my channel at the moment, but the one that you guys seem to love the most is where I made these handmade envelopes, um, like these ones. So I decided to do a project including these envelopes. So I've seen a couple videos around where people take envelopes, normally like you know, normal envelopes that you'd send letters and stuff in. Um, and they make these sort of like folio flip out booklet things. And I thought it would be really fun to make that, but to use our handmade envelopes instead. And um, yeah, so I'll link, I've watched both, I think Barbara from 49 Dragonflies make one of these. And I've also watched Margaret from Seven Plaza make one of these. So I'm gonna link both of their videos down below. Um, just for anyone who's interested, because that's where I got this idea from. So these are already made. These are the ones I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be making the envelopes in this video. I will also link down below the video that I made these envelopes. So if you want to know how to make these envelopes, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked. Um, so yeah, so these are the ones I'm using. They're already made. And then I'm also going to be using this coin envelope that's just made out of some really thin cardstock and I cut it out with a Sizzix Tim Holtz die cut. And same with this mini envelope is another die cut. This is coffee stained paper. This is just some really thin craft paper that I have on a roll. So these are the five envelopes I'm going to be using to make this flip booklet folio thing. <laughs> So what we're going to start off with is these two big ones and I'm going to open up this tall one and I'm actually going to insert uh, this flap into the other envelope. Right? So see how this creates like a little booklet? And then I'm going to take the book page envelope and I'm actually going to flip this over and I want this one to go kind of over the top. Uh, do I want to, hang on, maybe I want to bring this one up a little, or do I want it flush to the bottom? Maybe just a little bit. I like how they kind of all, uh, kind of variate, and they're not all, like, perfectly aligned. Um, so this will flip open, this will flip open, okay. Um, this one I want hanging on this one, okay. And then, or is this one? This one is here, I think. I want this one. So it will flip in the back. So this will be our, our little booklet. We'll have to glue it together. But so this will flip open and you'll be able to tuck stuff in this pocket and decorate here. You'll flip this open, you can decorate here. This is going to be a pocket can flip this up and put stuff in the coin envelope, decorate here, you can flip this open and now, so I already said I was going to have a pocket here, so that means I'm gluing this flap to the inside of this envelope, if that makes sense. You'll, I'll glue it with you guys, but I'm just kind of explaining it. Um, so this will not be a pocket because this is going to be glued together and I'll probably kind of cover this up because I feel like this just looks a little bit like a mess, but so we'll, we'll pretty this up, but this will be a pocket. And then you flip to the back, this will be glued down, and then you'll have this envelope, right? So this is gonna be our little booklet. Let's, let's start by gluing this stuff down. I think we're gonna start by gluing these two big ones together. So as I said, I want this whole thing to be the pocket. So I'm gluing the flap to this part, these two pieces together. So how do I want to do this? Cause I don't need to glue the whole thing. Oh, and I said I wasn't going to go all the way down to the ground. Um, maybe I get like a pencil and I'm just going to kind of lightly mark. So I know that the glue needs to be in these spots, right? Yeah. So I'm going to glue um, yeah, because this is a booklet, I'm just going to use my precision glue to make sure it is nice and stuck down.
we're just going there. Um, and for anyone who's wondering, I did all the inking on these envelopes with Vintage Photo. So, just so you know. Um, alright, so that should be pretty good, right? Alright, what's next? I want this guy, I said here, and I wanted, yeah, I want him, hang on, so this is going to be here. I want it pretty close to this edge because I want it to, st I want to see it, you know, I don't want it like way in here and you can barely see it. I want to be able to see the different colors of the envelopes. Um, maybe we can do a little bit of stamping or something, I'm not sure. But, so we want this envelope to be like right here. And I think I'm gonna bring this up a little. I just wanna make sure it, it folds good and that you have like a li enough space to get in that envelope, right? So maybe something like that. Straight, looks fairly straight. All right, perfect. Okay, and now I said I wanted this one, like, where do I want it specifically? Further down, like this. Just like that. And this one I wanted like this. Right? So now we have our booklet all glued together. Let me just quick put this away. I'll probably just be using glue stick for the rest of it. Um, so now we've got our little booklet. This is awesome. Uh, that flips up, this flips over, and we've got this. So now that this is all done, um, most of this, I have a lot of like neutrals that I'm going to be using and I'm kind of the theme or the style I'm going for is I'm, I'm pulling out, you know, a lot of like flowers and um, I've got some, some butterflies. I'm using a lot of these that I kind of used, a lot of the stuff I used in my last video with my grungy tags. Um, and I'm kind of mixing botanical slash, slash nature with some of my grungier labels that I used in my last video. So it's kind of like... I don't know, a mix between botanicals and grunginess, I think, is sort of what I'm going for here. And um, so I have a bunch of stuff pulled out for that. And I also got out my, I don't know how much stamping we're going to do, but I got out my Nature Finds by Creative Expressions, designed by Sam Poole. And then I also got out Field Notes um, by Stampers Anonymous. So these are the two stamp sets I'm thinking I will probably use because they kind of go with the whole nature botanical theme. Um, 
And so since I'm going with a lot of neutrals and I'm going to have like touches of green, I sort of picked out um, some, some papers um, to put, I think, in the envelopes. And I'm going to have them kind of stick out a little bit. I don't know when I'm actually going to glue them down. Um, was this the one? I think so. This um, mini fake postcard actually fits like perfectly in here. So I'm just going to, where's my dauber? Is this, I think that's ground espresso. That's, no, do I want that? Whatever. It's going to be ground espresso. I just wanted to ink this edge since we're gonna see it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna glue them into the envelope. I'm just gonna leave them tucked in there. And then we'll have these touches of green peeking out of all of our envelopes. So let's just stick that in there. I want to put these in before so I can, when I'm decorating, I can see what it's going to look like. So I want to put these in right away. So when we flip this open, we're going to see that. Um, I think this tall one was... Uh, no, was that? No, let me go back here because this is where the puffet is, right? Yeah. So this one we're not going to see a ton of, but it's going to peek out a little bit there. Um, or I could just use it to like straight up cover this whole thing. Because remember I said I kind of wanted to cover that. And you don't really see much of it back there anyway. I mean, I have two. I do kind of need to, how big was this? It's going to be, that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to tuck one back there, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Just put that in there, I'm not going to ink that one. Yeah, you kind of see it. Um, this one, what? I had something, I thought, this one. So that one will kind of peek out, I guess I'm not inking that one either. Um, this you don't really see too much, so I'm not going to put anything in there, at least not right now. And then this one, was it this? Or was it this? No, that's way too big. Um, this one, but I think I need to just trim it. Where is my ruler? I need to get like a metal ruler because this clear one just blends in with everything. And I can't find it. So I just need to take off, smidge off the top. Will that fit now? Uh, no, I need to take some more off the bottom. Now will it fit? It will. I think I'll go this way. It's already kind of got a dark edge. Maybe I'll just ink that a little bit. So we got stuff in the some of the pockets, mainly as a background paper, but yeah, I like those little touches of green, so that's good. Um, so let's let's start with the cover. This is our cover. So what do we want on the cover? Like I said, I have lots of stuff here, flowers and birds and bees and butterflies and all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of cute. Um, we need like, hmm. I really like these. Uh, this is a digital. Most of these are from my porch prints as well as all of these over here. These are mostly from my porch prints. A lot of the labels I'm using, these like dark grungy labels are from Vibe of Vintage. Um, God, I don't even know. I have so much stuff out from all different kinds of digitals, printables. Um, I'll try to link what I can, and I'll try to tell you what 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 each thing is from as I'm using it, if I can. But I've got, like, a little bit of everything out. Um, so we'll just see. I'll do the best that I can. Uh, oh, and 
the other thing I was thinking is adding tabs. So it might be really cute to have a tab here. So we can flip this up, maybe another one up here, here and here. That'd be cute. Um, and I think I might just use like labels, you know, just take this and like flip it over. That'd be cute, I think. Just something simple um, like that. I think I need like a real label, <laughs> a, a real label. This is a real label, um, but like, you know, one for the, the page is what I'm getting at here. Um, hmm. More green, that's too much brown. I don't want too much brown. Maybe just something simple like that. We'll put a tab on here. And of course, whatever we put on this page will peek out. So this isn't necessarily done. So let's sink the edges of everything real quick. I think I'm gonna be inking everything in Dark Espresso just to make sure everything pops a little off of the very neutral background. Especially with considering everything I'm using to decorate is also like very neutral, so. I wanted a darker color to kind of pop off, the, help things pop off the page. Yeah, look at that. Um, did I do everything? I think this label needs. Then the question is, if this is a tab, do I want to stamp something on it? That might be... Let's fold it in half and then see what. Um, okay, now let's really ink it. It's kind of dark though, we'd want to ink, if we inked this, we'd want to ink it in black, I think. We could probably fit a really small number even just something, what do we got? I just need like a small number. These don't have very many small numbers. I might have to get out, it's like right here. It's gotta be something small I can fit on there. Maybe just that number five. Right? Number five? Yeah. I need an acrylic block and I'm gonna do it in black. Go. Oh, do I need it on the other side too? Because you're gonna see the other side. Uh, do we do the same one? Yes, yeah, we're we're just gonna do the same one. There, perfect. All right, let's glue that on right away. I'm actually gonna use, I lied. I said I was gonna use glue stick for everything, but I honestly don't even know what my glue stick is. I don't think I ever got it anymore. Okay. Here we go. Cute. I've got to glue the rest of this on. Is this over or under? Under. Perfect, our first page is done. Ooh. I have all this space. I didn't think about that. I was thinking we're going directly into this one. Um, yeah, so this one. 
Well, we did flowers. Maybe I, let's get out like a butterfly. Um, I got out, I picked out some random ones. Like I said, I, I kind of went for, picked up a lot of like greens and orange, a little bit of pink. I don't know what I'll use that one. I actually don't know why I got that one out. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that one, this one. I do really like this one. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it depends on what we actually decorate with, huh? What else needs to go on here? If there's a butterfly on here, what else? Does it need anything else? I feel like a little something. A little something. No. It's like a simple label. I don't know. Or like another... flower-y thing. Could just do something like that. Hmm. Or someone bring in some of those grungy labels I was talking about. I don't know. Or I've got this. It's more of like green. Is this now too much green? Bring in another brown one on it. Maybe just something simple like that. Sure. Alright, second page. Awesome. Um, now we have all of this. Um, hmm, maybe kind of collage on here a little bit. I've got this. What else? I had a bunch of little, I thought layers or strippies. Got some random stuff. Um, hmm. and then what else? We got. Oh, here's a dragonfly. That's cute. Hmm. Or we could get like a bigger label or something back here. Add more green to this. Something like that. A dragonfly over it. That'd be cute. I don't know what we're gonna put down here, but I think I like that. Let's let's get that on. And then we can decide what to do from you know, I think it might need a little something down here, maybe. We'll see. I 
this one's supposed to be under uh, that one, but that's fine, I suppose. It's too late now. Yeah. I don't know what. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have done some, like, background stamping before gluing this stuff on. What can I stamp down? Maybe that, um... This circle. That's always a good one, you know? Uh, and maybe I'll do that in Ground Espresso, but I need... That one I need a paper for. I think, just a little bit. This is just some dictionary. Oh, also... Another scrap of dictionary page so I don't get it on there. There we go. That's nice. All right. Um, what else? Anything else? Anything else from the stamp set? We could just do like a number or something. Or maybe a corresponding order. That fits kind of nicely. There we go. Um, maybe like a little, little number. Something. Oops. Um. That fit? That might like just fit. I should, I just kind of smudged it, but that's okay. Um, I could do another something here, or maybe I'll bring out. I gotta get out. Where is it? Here we go. We're gonna get out the splatter stamp from Tiny Toadstools. This is another Stampers Anonymous stamp, and I'm gonna probably need. Oh uh, well, no. Uh, I've got butterflies everywhere. Get out of here, butterfly. Um, let's kind of, yep, there we go, and some down there, and maybe there, there, that's cute, alright, I think that's done. Now we have this guy. What do I do here? Let's see. I have this. This might just be a good big background. I have a label that says shipment collect on it. That's kind of nice. Oh, wasn't it? Didn't I say I was going to put um, a tab here? Hmm. Hmm. Now I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, this is cute enough. I could always do one on down here. Is that gonna stick out too much? I don't know. We'll come back to that. Cause now it's like I was gonna use my little labels, but now I feel like I mean, I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world. I would have to kind of cover that. I wouldn't want it to be too close. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Maybe I'll just do another one down here, but. Um, anyways, what was I doing? Something. I was messing around. Messing around with stuff. Where's, I did like that pocket watch. But does the pocket watch... Oh, here's one with like a black. Stands out a little better. Or I have this like tag that I could kind of layer and it's got multiple clocks on it. Um, it needs 
florals, right? This is supposed to be botanical. <laughs> or it needs like a focal point, right? Hmm. What do we got? We got this little guy. Or what else? Some sort of flower. This is just one of those cases I need to just start gluing stuff down. All right, more stamping. Let's very lightly. Sure. And then we'll stamp something more. The more. What else did I have? Where's my nature finds. Do I come in with some green stamping? Hmm. Some green stuff. What do I got? I have rustic wilderness and peeled paint. Hmm. Which one do I want? Maybe do peeled paint? Let's take out, um, Take out this guy. Peel. I'm just gonna go for it. It's all right. Um. Now what? What do I want up there? It's not the greatest. What if I then go over, I don't know, because it just, it's not, it's too much in the background for some reason, I feel like. I feel like I need to go over it with, let's just take bloom. Bloom, going with express. There. That's a little better. Um, what else? Now what up here? I could do it like a bigger flower. Maybe just like the top of this big one. I really like these. Do I still want it in that peeled paint? I think I'm not even going to use my acrylic block. I'm just going to... I need something more. What else? Maybe I come in with this other one? Or this little? I've yet to use this guy. Um, let's actually use the acrylic block. needs something else over there. I guess I'm going to use this one again. And then do I go over the top of that also with something brown? Another word? Wildflowers maybe? I am just the most messy person ever. Hmm. 
And I think it's just I feel like I don't have time. I'm like, I don't have time to clean up as I go. Bam. Yeah. Good enough. Uh, all right. Now what? What's next? Do I want to... I don't know what to do with this yet. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to skip to here. Um, what do we got? I need, like, something bigger to put in the background. Um, I've got this. Um, I think it's too close to this, actually. So not that. Oh, actually. Not this. This is a digital. That'll actually peek out, too. If I bring this down... Yeah, that brings in a whole other element, kind of. I like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to glue it down right away. It's a bit... Uh, it's cold in the house. I have the air conditioning on and my ring is it's a little loose. It's, it's, I wear them. I wear my ring a little looser. So it's not super tight. But in the summertime, when I'm hot, it, it gets a little fingers swell up. Okay, what else? What else? What was that owl? I really wanted to use that owl. I had kind of put it down. Here it is. Here he is. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Um, hmm. What else? Hmm. Is there another leaf? Hmm, I don't like that one. Do I have more? Do I have more little leaves? Anything? Anyone? No? What is this little thing? Oh, it's a little bug. Oh, I found one. I found a leaf. That was a little more green. Yeah. Hmm. But what about up here? up here. I mean, not like every inch of everything needs to be covered, does it? Does it? I don't know. Do I bring any red in? Would that be... Ooh, I really do actually like that red. That red looks nice. I have a red bird. I could try to bring him in on another page. I have so many greens, I should have been bringing in more red. I could put him down here. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, I do like this red. Um, oh. Is there something else bigger that I could kind of just attach? I don't know, I like that one. But what else? It needs more up here. What if I try to find... A label that's a little less, a little smaller, um, or it doesn't need to be smaller, it could just be, I just want something that maybe has like a little less green on it, it's not so dark, I mean, this one. Something like that. Alright, am I gonna decorate? I don't think I'm gonna decorate the bottom of this. I do need something here though. I need to clean my glue bottle. So, I could go. Now, this is darker, so I might. So I could, um go with something, some of these lighter images. 
Oh, here's another leaf. Um, hmm. Is this too big now? <laughs> no, it's like not enough green. If I just bring in. Something. There was like too much space down here. I needed a bigger label. I've been so focused on what I'm doing. So, guys, I, as I mentioned, I need to also stop saying guys because my YouTube analytics tell me that 100% of my viewers are women. <laughs> so I should probably stop saying guys because um, you're not guys. But, uh, so in my last video, I said I was going on vacation in South Dakota, which is why there's kind of a long break between last episode and this episode. Does it leave anything on the back? Does it? Does it? Just a random leaf? Maybe just like a leaf and a label. Just, just a little something. I want a vacation to South Dakota, right? Um, just, just a little something. I went to South Dakota, my si my little sister graduated, she went to college there, so she just graduated from college, and me and my fiance went there, made a, a mini vacation out of it, and it was fun, we saw Mount Rushmore, that was really cool, we went to the Badlands, which are kind of like these large, um, it, it, honestly, it, the best way to describe it is sort of like a mini Grand Canyon. It's very like desolate. There's like nothing out there. It's very warm, kind of almost desert-like, um, but not flat. There's like these little cliffs and stuff. I don't know. It's cool. It was cool to see. Uh, what else? We went to Reptile Gardens, which is like a little zoo with mainly reptiles. And... Then we, what else? There was something else. We went to a couple different breweries and wineries. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then of course we saw my sister graduate, graduate, which was awesome. Very proud of her. And yeah, it was a fun trip. Um, I had wanted to get out my video a little sooner than I did, but you know, things happen. I got back. I was tired. Um, God, there's still so much to do. This is going to be a long video. Well, okay, now I'm flinging things. Now I'm flinging things. Maybe this just isn't the piece. Maybe this just isn't right. Maybe I just kind of... Dude. Here's... Ooh. <laughs> ooh. All right. Here we go. I think we got a little something going now. Could still add. Maybe now we need a smaller one. Um, you know what? Uh, what did I do with my stamp? Something like that. Okay, it's mostly gonna get covered. So this was gonna come up. That was gonna come down. Yeah. Did 
we go. Um, okay. So there's the background, but what else? Could do, ooh, hello, I like that. I'm just gonna slap it on there. Still feel like we need a focal point. We need to bring in a butterfly. The butterfly. Oh, are we plugged? No. And then a Is that enough? Do we just need a little bit of like some, do they even get glue back in? Um, uh, a little bit of stamping, I think. But what? I think I'm gonna try to stamp specimen just like right there. So we need our book page under here. Um, Glue that back down if it was ever glued down then to begin with. Um, okay, so we got specimen there. What else? We could do received. That might actually the whole thing might fit. Part of it. Um, okay, what about the top? Anything along the top? Maybe. Hmm. Is that too big? I'm just gonna bring in the filed. Good old filed. I'm gonna put that. Just there. Filed, and then what else? Just like maybe a number along the top, something kind of skinny. Like this one. There. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, we need to do this page. Okay, um, there's so much going on, maybe we just kind of do something, do something a little more simple. Um, maybe we try to kind of cover this up just a wee bit, something like that. Get the B in here. Get a, you know, I got all, all different kinds of labels and I'm just using all the same ones. Do I need to bring red back in? If I can even find, I didn't take out that many things with red. Here we go. That's got a little bit, but I really like him. And then what about in the middle? Just a little something, a little something. Need a stamp. Maybe, what if we just stamp, lightly stamp that in the background? I didn't use that one for anything yet. So, I might need out a bigger acrylic block. Hmm, well, it's just gonna have to work. 
because that's not <laughs> this one's not long enough this one's not quite wide enough but we'll make it work So we're going to put this kind of in the background. There we go. There we go. Um, and then what do we have? This thing here, and this, and this. Perfect. Oh, way too much now. All right. <laughs> I feel like these so contrast. This is so much lighter, and this is all dark stuff. But that's okay. So now we just have the back to do. Oh, and this little guy what to do. We already kind of have some layering going on. Oh, here's that one that I never got to use. So maybe if we put this down here somewhere. Oh, I never really used any blue in this project. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on. I just need to get moving. This is such a big page too. Okay, I need something here. Ooh, some more grungy. Some more grungy, maybe just like a random flower. Um, no, can't have it. This is too... Something like that. But then this is gonna be... This very blends in with this. So... Some, like, bow tickets. I don't necessarily gonna use them all, but... You know, just like one of them. Now for the back. So this is going to kind of finish it off. So I wanted to, it's probably buried because this place is a mess. Oh, here it is. I wanted to make a closure, right? Um, and I want it to kind of come across this back piece a little bit. It's going to be glued to it, I should say. So let's just make sure. We've got lots of space and we can always cut it down later. All right, so this needs to be glued, at least on the back. It's not gonna be glued on the front, but it's gonna be glued on the back. So, and then we're gonna put stuff over it. So I think I'm just gonna Gonna glue it. All right, and now, now what? Um, like a flower or something, or this one. I like that one, and maybe just like a label 
Just something really simple. Yeah, I don't have time. This video is probably like an hour and a half at this point. Hopefully I can trim some out. Maybe some of the inking. I don't even know. There we go. And then, so this is glued on. Bring this around. We'll just be able to tie it. I don't know if we would even want it in a bow, but. There, look at that. That's so cute. We have ourselves a little booklet folio thing. That's adorable. I probably could have done some, you know, more stamping and stuff on the back and in here, but I'm just, I'm out of time, guys. So let's just quickly look through it. I'm not even going to really clean up. Not that I ever really do, at least not on camera. Okay, so here's the front. It flips open. You can tuck stuff in like we did with this paper. And we just, we've decorated it. Sort of a mix between botanical and grungy. I actually really like this. Um, yeah, this flips up. This is a pocket. And here we actually have a little piece of paper in there. Um, then this flips over. More decoration. I mean, you could even, like, put a small signature. Maybe, these are pretty small envelopes, but, I mean, you could potentially put but you'd have to be careful, right? Because I could put a signature here, but if I put it through this envelope, it would close the whole thing up. So, I mean, you gotta be careful when you're planning these things. You know, in these envelopes, I mean, this could be like a mini journal, you know? And every envelope could hold like a journaling spot. Like, you know, you can pull this out, put a little note or a, a positive thought in there. I don't know. I did not decorate this part. It's okay. Um, no, we're done. <laughs> and then, yeah, so this is the project. I really like how this turned out. I was so excited to do this. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I finally did it. I'm in love. I am in love. I want to put this on display somewhere. Look at that. Ah, gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think of this project down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you fall asleep because the video was so long? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the views on my handmade envelope video. That's awesome. And if, you, if you're enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And you know, comment down below. Talk, give me ideas of what you want to see, what you want me to create, and I will try to get to it. And I just realized I have circle, circle, but that's fine. It's fine. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Ladies, I mean ladies, not guys.